So I'm going to give you a bit of a look at 10 things I love about Nursing Lane Warren. And listen, I haven't been going there for years, but I've fallen in love with the place, so I'm going to do my best to get around the Lane Warren. It's a bit rainy here today, but I'm looking out the front and it actually looks like they've got blue sky over there, so, so I might even get a bit of a sunbake after all. <laughs> Welcome aboard and uh, let's uh, let's enjoy the trip. Hey, guess what? I got my own uh, my old mate Al with me, and uh, a big big demo has come along as well. So we're going to go and check out some of the sites, visit a few watering holes, and sit back and uh, and relax because that's the best thing to do in Nursing and Bogan. Almost nothing. There's a few things to do, but yet yeah, it's a great place to go and do absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> so follow us and I hope you enjoy it. Even on a bad day, the water is still a beautiful aqua green colour. It's just stunning, it's so clear. So, how do you get here? Well, the easy answer, <laughs> I go to KW Tours for all of my travel plans, because Katut looks after me and makes sure that we get on the right ferry and we know where we're going. So, D-Star, as, as the guys that brought us over today, big thanks to them looking after us, and also to KW Tours. Thank you to it for looking after us. Hey, hey look brother, I've still got the shirt. Musa and Katut. Musa and So on. Well done, well done. Yeah, bagus. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Well done, young fella. Come and meet our friend. Beautiful white sandy beaches. Bit of coral lying around. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> A bit of driftwood every now and then. <laughs> You've got all these beautiful bars overhanging the water's edge. You just sit there looking out over the bluey green waters. You've got these lovely little bars and cafes almost dotted around the whole island. They're just everywhere. And we're going to go and have a look at as many as we can get to, because honestly, they're just lots of fun. Now, I'll tell you what I'm looking at. I look back there, and that black cloud right in the middle, at Sanua getting just a big dump of rain. And a little tiny bit of cloud, but a bit of blue sky out there as well. So it's not sunny, but I'll tell you what, I'm not complaining. The water is nice and warm. And we're gone, <laughs> I've been told. See ya. Well, I love this place. I tell you what, how lucky are we? Today we're staying at Villa Agung, and I'll show you how close we are to the water. It's right there at the other side of the road. Um, and Villa Agung is uh, is part of the uh, the Chenigan uh, beachside villas and uh, Lux apartments properties. And th look, these are just beautiful places. This is a private villa, just a little bit out of the way. It's beautiful because you've got your own little privacy, your beautiful big security doors. He's coming through here. You're <laughs> coming through here. Oh no, and there's already oh, someone yeah, in the I swimming know. pool. <laughs> there we go. I've seen you on YouTube. Oh, I think I've seen you on YouTube <laughs> I've seen too. You on YouTube. And there's Big Al. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but hey, hey, check this place out. This is this is magic, man. Beautiful big big bedrooms. Oh, it's so cool in here too. Just lovely. Gorgeous big bedrooms. We've got oh, a lovely bathroom. <laughs> yes, that guy again. He seems to be always following me. <laughs> just lovely. No TV. Perfect if you just want to kick back and just take life easy. Um, so there's two of those double rooms. And then there's this beautiful big lounge room. Again, you've got an entertainment system. You've got cold water. You've got a beautiful kitchen. And... Hey, look. <laughs> Look at that. They knew I was coming. There's a cold beer in the fridge. God bless them. I tell you what, I make pretty quick use of that. It's a bit sticky over here. But look, so we've got two of these beautiful bedrooms. Hey, we've got a lovely big lounge room there. 
and you've got this beautiful private pool, complete seclusion. <laughs> Here's Putu. He's our bartender. Hey, if you saw the video about us having the cocktail specials, this demon made us about 20 cocktails <laughs> over two nights. I don't remember half of them. I think I remember the nice ones. <laughs> but, oh, look at another one here. Nice sunbeds there. And another beautiful bedroom over here. The woodwork is just beautiful. The furniture is lovely. I love it. Beautiful big pictures. Wait. The flop test. Wait a second. Let's do this. Oh. Oh. oh wow. So. <laughs> I get, I get to stay. Alan and me are sharing a bed tonight. Now I spent two weeks with him oh, in a hotel in Geraldton, so it uh, in the most uncomfortable bed I think I've ever slept on. So tonight I'm gonna spend it. Yeah, look, it's a king size bed. We've got plenty of room. There's gonna be, there's gonna be none of that. But uh, I'd rather sort of sleep on a bed with a mate than sleep on on a banana bed by myself because that wasn't pretty. But oh look. can't hear any traffic. I can hear birds. I can hear Damo in the pool. Look at that birds there. The beers over here are about, about a buck more than you'll pay for them on the mainland. So considering every single thing gets has to be carried from a boat on someone's shoulders because they don't have a pier and a dock and, and commercial boats turned up, so we spent, we just spent 40 bucks on a dozen beers, two big bottles of Coke and a couple of bags of chips. So that's not too bad for a few blokes sitting around having a couple of beers each. But you sort of, I guess you could factor that into the, to the cost of getting here and the cost of accommodation. Because a, a place like this here, you're not looking at a terrible lot of money. Like, for what you're getting, this has got to be five, four star. Let's say this is a generous four star. Um, and... I think depending on how many people there are here, this this is, you know, goes for around 200 bucks a night. So uh, I'll put the price up. To be honest, I'll find out because I could be lying. Um, but um, if you've got four people, that that's works out around 50 bucks a head or something. Um, the average price to rent a motorbike for for the day, um, and nearly every every resort or hotel, whatever accommodation here can organise transport, certainly here at the Villa Agul, you just tell Putu when he picks you up from the boat, from the harbour that uh, you want a couple of bikes, or if not, he'll probably ask you before you get here. And, um, and yeah, so you can actually have this unit, you can ask the staff to come and cook a breakfast if you want, or you can just have it as is and, uh, and, and do your own thing. So we've elected to do our own thing because we want to do a bit of exploring as well and see what see what's around i actually want to try there's a really nice one just finished uh, you want a beer yeah he does so there's a really nice bakery fairly it's fairly new and they do nice teas and coffees i believe so i'm going to try that tomorrow morning but um i don't know how many oh you got it um so there, we had a little bit of a tiki tour. There's some really nice little cafes and restaurants. Almost everywhere you go, there's those little roadside um, cafes. And there's one that caught our eye just just around the corner from here. It's got grilled lobster on the menu, on the specials. And it looks like a quite a nice, quaint little bar right on the water's edge. So I reckon that's got our... It was either that or the Greek place up further up the road. That, that looks pretty good, though. That, that, that did look nice. So me and Al, we, we've outvoted Damo. Yeah. So he's, he's having a bit of a rest this afternoon. So he, he, he loses, but look, that pool was nice and warm. It's not freezing cold, it's salt water. And that's because there's almost no, what we would call fresh water here in, on the island. Drinking water's got to be trucked in and again, carried by hand every, every litre of it. Uh, fuel has got to be, got to be you know, loaded over here in jerry cans and stuff. It's, it's, um, I guess, look, it's a really small little island. It's probably about five kilometres from one end to the other. Um, it's a nice little drive to, to do a bit of an explore. It's just lovely. It's so quiet and casual. There's a lot of little places to stop and just a knick-knack. 
There's, um, there's some nice little shops as well. There's some crafty shops. There's some nice clothing places as, as well. Hey, I'll tell you what, for the clean beaches, beautiful clean water, absolutely crystal clear. And um, no rubbish on the roads. No rubbish on the roads at all. No. Um, I, I'd rather pay a dollar extra for a beer and have a beautiful experience than, than have people that complain about, oh, barley's just a smelly old shithole and, and you've got, uh, and it's got the cheapest beer. I'd rather sp spend a little tiny bit more on beer and, um, and have a nice clean place. So, like, look, it's. To each your own. Oh, I love this place. I, I've only been here a few times, and every time I come here, I'm just falling more and more in love with it. Alan may are talking about should we should we find out how much it costs to live here? But um, oh, I I'd, I'd probably get I'd probably get a little bit bored after a while, yeah. but for a week or two at a time. Oh, look, I think this is a perfect place to spend three or four days at the end of your holiday. I think if you were coming over to Bali and you just wanted to relax. Have a, have a bit of a time just to yourselves, do all the sightseeing, do all the fun stuff, all the adventure sports, and then before you jump on a plane and go home and go to back to work and back to the real world, come over here for a few nights and, and just just chill. Just take it easy, bring your book over, pretend it's nippy. <laughs> i tell you what I did find. Um, one thing I, I will say is when you're on a little, a little island like this where everyone's close and the village atmosphere is very, very strong, um, and there's almost, almost everyone that I've found that works on, on Noosa Lembongan was born here. So it's very much a village. Not, there's a few outsiders, there's a few tourists, but they're not millions by the, you know, by the truckload. But um, when we drove up through the, through the village, there was all these beautiful big um, ornaments on the side of the roads. Uh, uh, all, all lining up the up the road past the temple and the big ogo ogo because in the next couple of days we've got the uh, Nyepi festival and I would oh look I wish I could stay over here for Nyepi because <laughs> and it probably just like every other day <laughs> except there'd be no motorbikes going past because it's just that like peace and quiet type of place but um, yeah just a different feel a completely different feel to Bali a little bit more like you'd, you'd feel in some of the some of the more regional villages but you're right on the water as well and you've got fishing and snorkeling and manta rays and mangrove tours and stuff of like that so there's a there's a few different things to do there's a lot of swimming because there's a pool right here <laughs> and there's a, there's a lot of water holes <laughs> there's there's plenty of places that'll sell you a nice cold beer so it's on, on that i better put this camera down because um, I've got a beer with my name on it. I'll catch you a little bit later. Bye. <laughs> this is fun. Um, I'll let you know. Uh, part, oh, uh, part of their um, their culture over here, there's normally got a what do you call it? A, um, a, a embargo or a ban on loud music or live music after about ten o'clock. So I think it's already been after that. But um, there's a, quite a good little crowd up here, and we've got. Oh, it's a little bit out of town, a couple of minutes away. But a good little crowd. Place is called the country. The country, Mexican special Mexican food, and binting. Here we go. Good little band, and there's quite a few people here.
Tell you what, guys, if you want to go somewhere and just relax and really kick back, make sure they've got the amazing bed. Because, oh, oh, I slept like an absolute dead person last night. The beds are just sublime over here. Um, we, uh, we had a good little time. We had a bit of an explore yesterday. Waking up in paradise. Whoa. After such an amazing sleep last night and a good night, Poor old Al, <laughs> we took him to this night, this this uh, rock and roll band sort of thing, and they were playing a bit of a bit of <laughs> pretty heavy metal. <laughs> Wasn't quite Al's Al seat. <laughs> he wanted to pull pull them the speakers out <laughs> and teach him how to play play music and sing, because this guy was <laughs> into the microphone. Oh, it's funny as God bless him. Um, Oh, this place is just gorgeous, man. Not, not only the, the place where I'm staying here at Villa Agung, but we're just waking up. And Al's already been up, made a cup of coffee. Cleaned up a little bit. Oh. So nice, man. So nice, sister. The number one thing I love about Nusa Limbongan is there's plenty to do but it's the perfect place to do nothing. Honestly, just to relax, just to, oh, just to drain, just to re-energize your body. Oh, I've been out of that pool a couple times yesterday. I'm heading there again today, but I'm gonna go for a bit of an explore this morning. We had a beautiful dinner last night, and just up halfway sort of down the main road, there's a, there's a new uh, French bakery, I think it is. It looks pretty fancy. It looks really nice, and I've heard some good reports. So, oh, the sun's got a bit of bite. We had a bit of overcast weather last night and yesterday, but today the sun's just steaming. So before it gets too hot, I reckon oh, we'll get up, get active, or maybe I just go get up and have a swim. That's not a bad idea. I tell you what, yep, I could. Let's just do that. We're going for a swim, Al. Are you yeah. coming in? <laughs> uh, well, uh, I tell you, the pool's pretty deep here, too. Hey. <coughs> <laughs> oh. Waking up in paradise, and here we go. In the pool already. We've got to go have a bit of a look around, around this uh, Lamonga today. Try and find some of the best parts in this Lamonga. I've had a bit of a ticky tour before and I've found some some favourite places so this time I'm going to film them, tell you all about them, take you out and give him a look and we're going to try and find a couple of these beachside bars and see which one is the best of them. <laughs> pretty nice. Yeah, there's, there's certainly no shortage of, uh, of coffee shops and breakfast breakfast eateries, but this got my attention. French bakery and coffee. So, these guys will go, go to the experts, see what they say. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Where do you start? I mean, I can't tell you how nice this smells. Let me just see what they've got. Little chocolate croissants, raisin rolls, just. Don't know where to start. 
find out what Al wants. <laughs> Vogue's just get a coffee. Oh, that smell of coffee in there is just amazing. And the pastries in that look just uh, good enough to, to give up a diet for. I haven't started my diet yet, but I tell you what, oh, that was pretty tempting. Look at this, look how beautiful this is. And it seems like it's definitely one of the busiest eateries here this morning for breakfast. It's just got an endless stream of people popping in for their morning cup of joe. Love it. Immediate service. Thumbs up, 10 thumbs up. Well done. After a beautiful breakfast, Damo went and was looking over the edge of a cliff down off into some beautiful, absolutely pure, clear water. Just lovely. And had a beautiful cooked brekkie. Me and Al just went up for a coffee. I'm going back for another explore. Um, there's something I need to tell you about the guys here from uh, Villa Agung. They own a couple of other places here on, in, in uh, Nusa Lembong and over on Chenigan. And they're Aussies. They're based down in, uh, down, down in Victoria. And they've been coming over here for years and years and years and eventually they decided to, to put a bit of an investment into Bali and actually buy some property. And this is one of their properties and it's absolutely spectacular. Now I know the staff and I know how incredibly well they look after their staff. We got talking, they actually came to me and said, listen, we love what you're doing with Bali Donate. And as you know, it's a huge big passion of mine. And if you're not sure, I'm gonna leave a link to Bali Donate as well. The guys here, Chris and Crystal, who run these, these, um, this accommodation, have, would like to support Bali Donate. And what they're gonna do is, if you send an email to, for inquiries through accommodation, um, directly me mentoring Muzza or mentoring Bali Donate, they're gonna make a donation to Bali Donate. So part of your booking fee or part of your, your accommodation is gonna go to help the poor. And as a result of that, I've said to them, well, what we're gonna do, we've been a, for a bit of a ride, I'm gonna take you for a ride through some of the poorer parts of, uh, of Lemongan because like any place around here, there's the more affluent or the, the, the touristy places and then there's the behind the scenes place. And look, it's a, it's a pretty productive little island, but like everywhere, there's some, there's some pretty uh, poor places. So what we're gonna do is uh, once people start booking and using Muzza or using Bali Donate in the, in the subject or anything in the mention of a, a booking request, they're going to uh, to donate some money towards Bali Donate. We're going to go and buy the Sambaco, buy all the food and the rice and the, and the toiletries and stuff over here to support the local businesses. And then we're going to go up into the village, um, into the you know, behind the scenes places here, and we're going to film that as well. And we're going to donate it back to the people of Noosa Lembongan and give them a bit of a hand as well. So, look, if you are thinking about coming to, to Noosa Lembongan, it's 30 minutes on a ferry. It's just a beautiful little place. Honestly, I, I can't. Damo, what were you just saying about how how beautiful it is here? Honestly, it's just so tranquil, beautiful. I don't think you should tell them. <laughs> don't come here. Yeah, don't don't come. Keep it a secret. We, we, <laughs> it's honestly Bali 30 years ago. Yeah, it is. Right? It is. It's Bali 30 years ago. Yeah. Very peaceful, very beautiful. People are awesome. A million little shops. A little like uh, yeah. not and uh, not in your face t-shirts sort of shops or whatever. But there's no, beautiful really. little coffee shops yeah. and cafes and little restaurants at the side of the beach. There's just hundreds of them, um, and it's just so so relaxed and so peaceful um, that. Uh, so look, please, if you're thinking about coming over here, this is a great place to start. You can. They've got. Beautiful accommodation. These guys um, have got a three-star directly over the top of where the ferries land by the deck. You might have seen all those cliff-top sort of restaurants and stuff like that. Well, they own Lux Villas, and that's absolutely beautiful. It goes up the side of the hill, and I'm going to head over there tomorrow and have a check check Lux Villas out. Um, and and they've got the enormous five-star um, gone with the wind type of uh, absolute water water frontage. Um, villa over on uh, Noosa Chenigan or Chenigan Island and oh look we've already been there and just fell in love with it unbelievable I'm, I've got an interview with these guys that I'm going to be putting together shortly as well just to talk about how they're why they're doing what they're doing and and giving something back to the local community but I just want to tell you if you're coming to, to Bali and you miss out on Noosa Lembongan then you've missed out on one of the jewels in the crown honestly this is just this is just peace and quiet at its absolute best. 
this is relaxing this is recharging the batteries and um he's come for another sleep just had breakfast <laughs> good on you al's reading a book or something <laughs> um <laughs> Damo was up at five o'clock this morning, had a swim, went for an explore, went and had some, some breakfast, and now he's going for another nap. <laughs> night night Nana. <laughs> it's not even nine o'clock. Oh yes it is. <laughs> okay, I'll wake up. Bye. How you going man? Good. This is downtown. There's a couple more motorbikes, but it's pretty, it's pretty cruisy. There's the high pressure sales guy. He sells, <laughs> I don't know, hats and uh, buggy. He sells hats and sarongs. You can see him chasing after you down the street, not. What you don't get people over here um, running, up, running up the road after you to tell you that you have to buy something. They actually really, really chilled and laid back. You want to buy something, you got to go and walk up to them. If you get to an intersection, which way, mate? Which way? <laughs> Any which way? And let's yeah. go. We'll go, go through the forest. Right. <laughs> you can't go wrong here. Yeah. Where are you going, Damo? Wrong way. I tell you what, you don't get too many better views than that. Look at that. You can see in the distance the big mount of Gong. You've got the whole harbour there where all the ferries come into land. And on this prime piece of real estate, you've got a bit of a beach club or a mountain club. I don't know what they call this one, but. It's a bar and restaurant, Karana. And it's one of these places you'd imagine should be absolutely packed. Beautiful place, you've got an infinity pool there. And you've got this incredible view across there to Mount Agong. Tandy Dasa and Amlampura. All over there. And look at this place. Now, look, honestly, we're here in the in the slow season, but where are you gonna get views and, and scenery like that? It's just stunning. <laughs> okay, so I was wrong. You can buy Bintang t-shirts over here. Check it out. This is the t-shirt district. And I see some Lambongan Bali t-shirts. There's a Lambongan surf story. I don't see anyone chasing after you trying to sell you something. It's really nice and peaceful. Lovely. So if you if you come over here and you forgot your nice pretty sundress, you can always get another one right here. Hello boys. Out. One of my favourite things about Nursa Limbongan is the amount of little tiny cafes, coffee shops, warungs, whatever you want to call them, dotted all the way along the, uh, along the water's edge and, and down the road. Every every hour is happy hour and it's always coffee time. Check this out. There we go. Let's go and have a look inside. It's just beautiful. Oh, smell of fresh coffee too. Hello. Oh, just beautiful. So, check out the view. You just get to sit here. Have your lunch. Have a snack. Have a morning cup of coffee. And just look out over the... Over the water's edge. Hello. Oh, yep. Thank you. Tell you what, it looks a bit fancy. Mm -mm -mm. And mixed grilled chicken, tan sausage. Oh. I'm getting hot now. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. What is it? Oh, a Nutella pizza. Oh, pizza with Nutella topping. Add a dollar for a banana and two bucks for strawberries. Oh, now, <laughs> why would you want extra bacon with that? Pizzas. Salmon a la fungi, 
Oh, it's nice little Italian. Vegetarian. I tell you what, there are some really nice non-meat eating and um, deli type, type places over here for vegetarians and for people who have a little bit more of a, um, a, a careful palate, I'm shall, shall I say. Beer, Bentang and Rello, four bucks. That's about what you pay normally over here. Three bucks for a can of Coke. So the prices are nice, reasonable. And a sp uh, the cocktails are about 10 bucks a piece. But it's always, it's always, um, oh, yummy, what's this? Risotto a la fungi. Bit of risotto, I haven't had risotto for ages. I might get stuck here. I'm just over here trying to film, but it looks like I might end up getting stuck here. I better ring Al up and Dana and tell him to come over because this looks bloody beautiful. Uh, look, there's so many. In fact, I thought, look, I'll come down the other side. I'll take you down here. If you look down that way, no, turn around, that way. There you go. That's coming. If you look down there, you see almost every 10 metres down the beach, there's someone else, there's someone else doing another similar thing. So you got a nice, nice tiny little plunge pool here, a little paddle pool for the kids. Hey, I want you to see something in there. How much plastic bottles and rubbish can you see? One. I can see one. I think actually that's a float for a net. Might be. Um, but you've got beach bags, uh, beach uh, um, bean bags here. A little bit of music in the background. And really beautiful atmosphere. Right on the main road between Lembong and the, the Yellow Bridge is literally just over there. In fact, you can see it from here. There it is. So that's Jenigan. This side is Lembong. And there's the gap, there's the bridge in the middle. And this is these. This is where they do the seaweed farming. And you see rows in, low tide you'll see them. There's sticks in the ground, you can see a couple up, sticking up there. And those boats to get out of here, gotta go that way, up under the bridge, and out the other end. Because uh, this, there's a reef up there, that sort of blocks it up, keeps this nice and protected though. And uh, probably creates a lot of natural areas for fish. Tell you what, I'm gonna go for a quick walk down that end. Just see what I can find, because this is beautiful here. Both sides of the road. I'll be back, boss. Yes, boss. I'll come and have a beer Bye. in a minute. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, some posters. I'll be back. So you got these beautiful little shops on either side. Really lovely. Dress shop here. Guest house on the side. That looks quite pretty. Right next to the water. And then you've got, I think that's a, that looks like a, a beauty salon or something. Looks lovely. And you've got more of these beautiful little villas and these little cafes and stuff all along the way. I need to go and check about more, but it'd be a bit, it'd be a bit rude for me to pop down here to Al Pont, La Dolce Vida, and not at least order a beer. So, tell a bit, I'm a bit past. If, you, if you've come to Bali and never tried it, I recommend giving Radler a go. Now, it's a bit like a shandy. It's lower alcohol, which is good if you're driving around, but it's very refreshing and it's a mixture of beer and like a lemon. It's bloody nice, I've got to say. So I'm going to grab myself a Rattler and uh, I'll have a quiet drink first. Hello. Beach, kids playing on the beach. Just hundreds of these little tiny cafes, little warongs. Just beautiful. Hello. Check out this. Everywhere you go, just non-stop, everywhere. Tell you what, I know it's off season, and I know there's not many people around. God, it must be heartbreaking to own a property over here and, and sit there waiting for people to turn up. There's some lovely little places, they're so gorgeous. Look at the look at the view there. There's another one, Mamma Mia, right next door. 
all the way down the beach. Hello! Lovely staff, so friendly. And one guy sitting there reading the book. But I stopped because they had, <laughs> I don't know, I'll show you why, by the beach bar and grill. Grilled seafood, prawns, whole fish, tuna. Happy hour, cocktail every day. And check this out. A rack cocktail, a rack papua, a rack sunshine. Killer. Oh, jeez, I tell you what. Bloody cold, cheers. <laughs> and there's, that, there's the, the kitchen area. There you go. Beautiful area. <laughs> they've got some, they've got like, I can't probably <laughs> put them on my vlog because they're a little bit colourful, but they've got some interesting names for some of their cocktails. <laughs> um, so yeah, look, a, a good bit of attitude, a bit of, a bit of comedy, a bit of a, a good, a, a good, a good theme on life. And, and, and empty. So I would hope, I would hope that some of you want to come over and just relax and not get be bothered by too many people and come and look after some of these bars. Just go jump on a bike, jump on a scooter. You can rent them for about 10 bucks a day and you can travel around the island. You can stop at every bar and you'd, if you were here for a month, you'd still never do all of the bars. There's no way in the world. And it's clean and it doesn't stink and the people are, are totally there. It's so friendly. Not that Balinese aren't friendly, but there's a complete difference in attitude when you get over here. It's just chill, kick back, take it easy, smile, wave, and, uh, and get on with it. Why should we? If you want local food, there's tons and tons of really nice little warongs and places that are very inexpensive to, to buy over here in Nusa Limbong. If you want um, some Western delights, the standard like pizzas and hamburgers, there's an Italian place up the road, which is beautiful. There's the resorts which have got a good mixture of everything including smorgasbords which are really really nice. I've been there before and had a buffet. Tons of seafood and, and local sort of uh, des dessert places or, or dish places. Um, and a lot with uh, little little bars and um, little bands and stuff, sports lounges, you name it. So there is tons to do here at night time. As I say, you're spoiled for choice. But tonight, we're, <laughs> we're going, I must be standing near the road. We're uh, just the three of us sitting out at, uh, at Nisi and we're going to have a couple of a couple of lamb euroses or <laughs> kebabs, whatever you want to call them, gyros. Um, and they, yeah, hopefully they look, they sound as nice as they look. We're in for a bit of a treat. Just had the most beautiful lamb, authentic Greek dinner, and to wash it down, I thought. What better than a bit of authentic Greek baklava? So here we go, check this out. This looks like a couple of, a couple of toadstools growing out of a, a basin of coffee. It just looks insane. I can't wait to get into it. And look at this. Old Al's getting himself a little bit of chocolate cake and ice cream. It looks beautiful too. So, hey, <laughs> this one's from my mate Matt. <laughs> Some some baklava for you, brother. I uh, wish you were here, but since you're not, I'll have to have both of them for myself. See you soon. Well, they've got torrential downpours in Sonur at the moment, and Dem and Dempasar. We're over here in Limbongan, and uh, we've got a little bit of light mist, misty rain. I have to put a couple of splashes on the pool and wet the concrete, just give everything a bit of a spruce up. But it's actually not at all bad. You know, when you're doing nothing, you're sitting back reading a book and um, and taking it easy. It's amazing. You don't really care what the weather's. It's actually cool to cool the place down a bit. It's not as it's not as wet. I, t I was really amazed. I had a look at this place, and in one of the drawers, there's a folder just absolutely chockers with hundreds of movies, and, and they're a lot better movies than on Netflix at the moment. So, you know what? I think today, as part of my put your feet up and do nothing plan, we're going to sit down, put our feet up, do not very much, and maybe watch a movie, just relax. I'll tell you what, two or three nights over here, 
honestly feels like a week. It just, it just feels so, yeah, so fresh. Time for a little walk around the corner to, for breakfast. Go to this little beach bar that we had dinner the other night. And, uh, oh, I'm loving it, just loving it. But the best thing we did is just come over here for a couple of nights and just relax, do nothing. Take it easy, bit of sun seeing, a sightseeing, a little bit of, bit of sun. Yesterday, running around on the motor motorbikes, but it's a bloody quiet, so peaceful, just lovely. I tell you what, I come over here to do a vlog about 10 things I like about Ness and and uh, there's more than 10. Every single, almost every single place we've been has been magic, um, and it's just been just been beautiful breakfast this morning was a bit funny we had the the table was actually probably a little bit softer to chew on than the toast the coffee was <laughs> moderately <laughs> off off warm mixture it was it, it did taste nice coffee but it wasn't it wasn't good coffee um it was cold and and there was ants in the sugar um look sometimes you've got to adjust your standards to to spend a bit of time on our islands um it's not a hilton hotel it's not you know, five star luxury when you're when you're going into town um, if you want five star luxury there's only a half a dozen places on the island where you'll get it and Chenning and Beachside Villa is probably the one place where you've got your own butler and you've got your own housekeeping staff and and kitchen hands and stuff and they'll they'll cook you up just about anything you can ask for and they look after you really really well but there are hundreds of things I like about Lisa Limbong and if you come over here, you'll understand why. It's a completely different attitude. It's just, it's peaceful. There's no hustle and bustle. Even in the main street, you can more or less walk across the road without looking. I, I would look at a couple of faster people moving around. But it's just a great place to relax and a great place to recharge. And we all need that. So, I hope you enjoyed our little little look at how the other half live, the lucky bastards, and uh, food for thought then. See, if you're coming over, let me know, I might tag along. <laughs>